Are you happy right now? Are you living your life to the fullest? Or do you look at all your friends with envy? All the people around you. Your friends have got perfect abs, the perfect body, perfect skin. They've got girlfriends and they seem to be happy all the time. You look at them with such envy, jealousy, even though you don't go to the gym. You have no skincare routine. You have never even tried talking to women because you're too scared and you never even bothered taking care of your mental health. That was me. That was my story. I used to always look around my friends with envy, jealousy. They were the first ones to get into a relationship and I was kind of being left behind. I look at my old friends from like secondary school and they were all going to the gym consistently and now they're huge. They've been going for like five years and it took me so much longer to get to that, to finally step in the gym. I always looked at them with envy. Oh, they've got such a nice physical body. Like all the girls are attracted to them. Even though I never went to the gym. It really made me sort of sit down and look at my life and realize that I did not deserve the things that I wanted, the things that I dreamed about because I wasn't putting in anywhere near as much effort as other people. All my friends, they went to the gym, they put in the time, they put in the hard work and they got results. I didn't, yet I wanted to get to the same result that they did without putting in any effort. It wasn't how life works. And I realized this because of a quote that I saw. A quote that changed my perspective and could change yours. Let me just uh, read it out for you. A calm mind, a fit body, and a house full of love. These cannot be bought. They must be earned. This quote genuinely, it changed my life. It completely changed my life for the better. And it could change yours because it made me think about the past. There was a time where I was a shut-in gaming every single day i dropped out of school because i wanted to game more or like just kind of i wasn't in a very good place i basically never went outside and i was basically always in this room but i was reading more i was meditating i did 10 push-ups a day and my dad looked at me and he said son are you putting in a hundred percent effort right now and i got all defensive and i was like yeah 100 percent 110 percent 159% like I was so defensive I can imagine like what I look like in his eyes eh, I put in 150% effort today I did 10 push ups like my dad just looked at me and he kind of just saw through all the bullshit and he looked at me dead in the eye and said no you're not you're putting in like 10 less than that and I got pissed I got annoyed I got angry I yelled at my dad and he sort of just looked at me with sad eyes and he was like if that's what you believe that's okay son but in time, you will learn that you are not putting in 100% effort. Two years later, I decided, I looked at my dad and I said, you know what, I want to move out. I want to work even harder, get a full-time job or two part-time jobs. I want to upload to YouTube and build a community about my experiences every single day. I used to post videos like every now and then, you know, like after a couple months or like after a couple days, like I was so... I was always making excuses and I looked at him and I was like, I'm going to put out content every single day and not shitty content, meaningful content, stuff I really want to help other people. I want to go to the gym every single day. I've recently texted him, I'm now going out for morning runs, training every single day, like an anime character, um, like six in the morning, right? I'm going on morning runs and he messaged me and this is why I wanted to create this video. Son, you are now putting in 100% effort. More than I ever thought you could. You made me proud. And I I loved I loved that. That message, it made me feel like, you know what? I fucking love this. People are seeing the progress I make. And I didn't do it for like, to show other people in the first place. I did it because I wanted to change my life. And I fell in love with the progress I was making. But seeing my dad react like that, it made me realize, you know what? Yeah, you're doing good. You're doing good. Sorry, I kind of got a little bit personal there. I, I kind of... What, the, what was I... The fuck was I talking about again? So I want you to ask yourself. I want you to genuinely be honest and just completely ask yourself. It's just you and me. 
Maybe you're sat in the train station. Maybe you're sat at home, but you've got headphones on. It's just you and me. I want you to ask yourself the same question. Are you putting in 100%? Because if you aren't happy right now, you probably aren't. And you you may make up excuses right now. I hope you don't. But the thing is, people will make excuses. And do you know how I know? Because I did. I got angry at my dad and I, I made excuses. Two years later, I now know that he was right. I wasn't putting in 100% effort. And I want you to ask yourself the same thing. Are you putting in 100% effort? Are you genuinely living life to the fullest? Or are you not? If you are, and I mean you genuinely are, you are going to the gym consistently every day, you are meditating consistently every day, or you're trying to, you're trying to go to the gym, you're trying to go outside and go on walks every single day, you're just trying to improve yourself, your mental, your physical, your financial, you're trying to go out and find what, what your purpose is, your purpose in life that you want to do, your reason for being here. You're trying to live life to the fullest so you can get the most life satisfaction. You are trying. You are genuinely putting in 100% effort. You know you will. You know that you are because you will see results. Whether it be two weeks, whether it be two days, whether it be two months or two years, you will see results. I guarantee you that. Both physically and mentally. Mentally, you'll feel way better than you ever did. Knowing that when your day finishes, yeah, I had a good day. I put in my all. Today was a good day. I deserve this sleep. I earned this rest. I'm a rest. Good. And then insomnia comes, fucks you in the ass, and you don't sleep for like three, four, five, six, seven hours. <laughs> I'm joking. I hope that doesn't happen. If you want to make a change, you want to make a start, but you simply just have no idea where to begin, this could be it. This channel, this community, I will do everything that I can to give you all the resources from my experiences so you can start, so you can make a change. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And more importantly, stay consistent and don't give up. Hey, you know what time it is. Come here, some room kiss.